Talk is a step closer to a potential ban in the U.S. House lawmakers passing the measure as part of the $95 billion foreign aid plan. ABC's Tim Pulliam explains what's next and what this could mean for users. Today I'm saying my final goodbye to TikTok. The clock is ticking for viral social media app TikTok. Over the weekend, House lawmakers passing a bill that could ban the popular app from the U.S. if the Chinese owner, ByteDance, doesn't sell within a year. The two options are sell to a U.S. owner or cease operating in the U.S. The potential measure is lumped into a $95 billion foreign aid package. Top intelligence leaders are concerned user data on the app could become compromised, the bill receiving bipartisan support. For some TikTok creators, the app has been a launching pad for lucrative businesses. I'm happier than I have ever been, and it is because this app has opened the door for me to figure out how I can make a difference in the world. A TikTok spokesperson calling the action unfortunate, telling ABC News the bill would trample the free speech rights of 170 million Americans, devastate 7 million businesses, and shutter a platform that contributes 24 billion to the U.S. economy annually. If it does get banned, some security experts say app stores would no longer offer the app or provide updates. I don't think it's going to pass First Amendment scrutiny because I think they're less restrictive alternatives. We could have uh, made it a, a crime to transfer Americans' data to an adversarial foreign nation or foreign state interference. The Senate expected to vote on the package tomorrow. President Biden signaled that he would sign the bill if it's approved by the Senate. TikTok has vowed to fight this in court. Tim Pulliam, ABC News, Los Angeles.